Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to day 8 of 13 days of liquid lipstick and today we have the most popular NYX soft matte lip creams. Now as you guys know this has been existing for a very long time and I have 5 shades with me. So as always check out the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. Now before we can get into the lip swatches, the formula and the cons. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. So these are priced at 600 rupees for 8 ml of product and they offer 17 shades in India. So this is how the packaging looks like where it is color coordinated with all the information on the tube and it comes in a soft matte black cap and it has the shade name mentioned right at the bottom. And this is how the doe foot applicator looks like. So a quick disclaimer, I did not choose the shade Beijing. I got it for free with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. So yeah, I will never choose such a shade. It washes me out completely. So let's talk about the formula of these lip creams. Now, if you're the kind of person who does not like that super ultra matte finish or, you know, the kind of finish where it feels like it's sucking the moisture out of your lips, you will like this lip cream because this gives the most comfortable soft matte finish like the name suggests and this has a very smooth whipped moussey kind of a texture so it glides on very smoothly and evenly on the lips and even the lightest shade like Beijing it did not go on streaky or patchy or anything it did not suit for my skin tone or for my pigmented lips it did not suit at all but then it never went on streaky or patchy and these smell delicious like a vanilla cupcake or a cake but it's not that strong or overpowering and it does not linger like as soon as you apply it you cannot smell it at all but then it has a lovely smell so this is not a quick drying kind of a formula so it is easy to layer up or go for a second coat especially with this kind of a shade or even the darker shade i had to go over with a second coat but it was not clumpy or messy or anything of that sort but the next approach to do with the shade 
shades because they offer such a beautiful variety of shades especially the nudes now even if you are a fairer medium or a darker skin tone you will be able to find the nude shade now out of these swatches itself three of them were my favorites and one of them which is the shade Khan that is my the OG the first NYX product that I ever picked up and also the earliest liquid lipstick or a lip cream that I ever picked up like this is the old one where you can see how beat up it is even the cap I think is kind of broken and this is the replacement that I picked up for these swatches but yeah these are like my favorite when it comes to shades once these have settled on your lips these are transfer proof for example like there is hardly any transfer and these also stay for a decent amount of time like provided you do not have any heavy or an oily meal this will stay put on your lips now these are easy to remove like i just use like wet wipes to remove it i didn't even have to reach out for a micellar water and last but not the least is the quantity they offer 8ml of product i think in this whole series this is the highest amount of product that was offered in all the liquid lipsticks including the two faced one which is 7ml Next is a quick FII. It's not like a con, but I'm just a bit nitpicky is about the packaging. Now, like I mentioned before, the cap of it comes in a soft matte finish and that kind of collects all the dust, dirt and gunk from your purse and pouch or pockets or wherever it is. It becomes dirty throughout times. And now moving on to the cons, the first one is to do with the dry down time. Now it does take its own sweet time to dry down and while it is drying down, it does transfer like crazy. So if you are the kind of person who just wants to put a lipstick and then you're going to put a mask on and leave, this is going to transfer all over your mask or if you're going to have like a coffee or anything to eat, it will transfer until it settles and dries down so that is the first con for me and now for the last and final con it is something that i have not personally felt but my best friend who has a very dry dehydrated lips she feels these lip creams kind of dry her lips out more now if you have normal lips or if you have lips where you have already prepped it use your lip balms and exfoliate your lips on a regular then i don't think that you will have this issue but then for those lips which are already dry or dehydrated to start off with itself this will dry out your lips a bit more so yeah i've not personally gone through it but just fii so overall for me the cons are not like a deal breaker and i'm already planning to repurchase other shades like uh, the shades belgium and berlin these two shades are something that i was kind of eyeing on and i think i used to have the shade monte carlo and i worn it for like a christmas event I kind of forgot and I think I lost it but yeah any which ways I do love these lip creams I would recommend it as well so yeah these were my thoughts on the NYX soft matte lip creams I hope you all enjoyed this video if you do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it 25 whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I will turn up a search for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanayar on Instagram and Ishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.